This is the Cinetreak C-Live C1 video switcher and mixer. It's yet another entrant to the compact 4-input HDMI switcher market, dominated, at least in mindset I think, by Blackmagic's ATEM mini devices. This is what you get in the box, the switcher, a power supply and a basic instruction manual. The switcher is nicely compact, just about the size of a paperback book and the same thickness too, which makes it very easy to carry around. On the left hand side you have buttons for changing settings on the fly as well as starting and stopping recording and live streaming. Below that is a four way joystick which you can push in to select things in the menus. The traditional two rows of camera select buttons run along the bottom, the top set for live output, the bottom row for preview selection. And on the right a dial that turns and clicks in again to make menu choices, along with buttons for cutting between shots and entering the menus. There's an old school T-bar for transitions too. One starring aspect of the device is this large screen which shows you all your camera inputs, your output and your menu settings without the need for any external monitor. On the right are two 3.5mm mic or line inputs, a headphone jack, a tally light control and a USB 2 socket for loading images and doing flash disk recordings. The back has the four HDMI inputs two HDMI program outputs and they are program output only, not multi-view, which is a crying shame. Then there's a USB-C connector for making the device appear as a webcam to a computer to use with OBS or Zoom or whatever. There's Ethernet for direct streaming and a power jack. The left hand side has a proper on-off button which is nice and a vent for the fan. There's a tripod thread underneath which is great if you don't want to have the unit on a desk. And even better, there's a visa mount on the back, so you could put it on an articulated TV arm. The power brick is universal, with clip-on adapters for the different types of sockets used in countries around the world. And it uses a locking connector to the unit, which is fantastic. That's the hardware then, and although I wasn't intending this to be a tutorial, I think inevitably it will be one if I show you what all these buttons do. Switching it on takes 23 seconds with this little animated button selection as you can see and a logo and eventually it will come live onto the multi-view screen. There we go.